welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Michelle if you're not new welcome back so after this clip it's gonna be basically me explaining the type of waist trainers I've worn and kind of like the benefits after that clip it's gonna be the side effects of waist trainers and then after that clip it's my routine with the waist trainer and I'll put in the times in the description box and also in the comments so small waist let's talk about it so let's just start by saying I'm not sponsored I should be because I promote this brand so much so I should be a part of it but I'm not but it's totally cool second this is what worked for me this is what I did this is what I did for my body okay <laughs> So I'm going to face this way because I have a huge zit on the side of my face, but we're not going to talk about it. Anyways, I forgot to talk about the benefits of a waist trainer. I can't take myself serious looking at this corner, but, um, um, yeah, what's it called? The benefits of a waist trainer. One, you get a snatched waist. Two, helps you with your posture. If you got a zebra freaking capital Z spine posture, helps you. Third... I mean, like I said, you get a snatched waist. Who doesn't want a snatched waist? And it helps you with your core. It, strength, it strengthens it. I can't speak. I'm, I, my speech is very terrible. But, yeah. Just three great benefits. So, basically, the little saying that I always say, I am my own scientist and my body is my experiment. Therefore, I've tried a couple of waist trainers. Trainers. This one. Ugh. That one. It's from Angel Curves. It's called Three Hook Extreme, I think. It has like three hooks. So like this one right here, this one, and this one. And then I have this blue one. This blue one is a medium. This one is a small. This is my first ever like actual waist trainer from a different brand instead of like these like Walmart ones. This is my first hook waist trainer. It's a medium. This is what I had before. This is what I have now, medium, small. This one fits really big on me now. This one is getting a little bigger on me. Right now I'm bulking so like it kind of fits a little tight, but I know when I cut down for my show, which is like next year, I know I'm gonna need like a smaller size, like an extra small, which I'm gonna order eventually. So if you're on a budget and there's these waist trainers, there's this one, it has like the material fabric in it. When you wear it during cardio, you're not sweating on your stomach. It's just water weight, okay? A lot of people like to say, oh, yeah, I'm so sweaty. But you're not. It's just water weight. You know, it may be a little bit of sweat, but majority it's water weight. So, if you want to be that person who wants to be negative and be like, oh, waist trainers don't work, it's a myth, it's a lie, it's not a lie, okay? I started from a medium, I'm now a small. I don't know where the picture's gonna be, but there's a account on Instagram. It's a waist trainer brand, and it's called Squeeze Me Skinny. Us bodybuilders, we wear waist trainers to keep our midsection in, like, tight. Because when we compete, we don't want a bulky grenade gut. We don't. So we want to maintain our midsection, and we want to have that snatched waist. Okay, let's talk about the side effects. The side effects of wearing a waist trainer. In the beginning, it's a little tricky to breathe. When you're really like heavy weight, like I am right now, I still have trouble breathing. It's just like I run out of breath because like one, I'm heavy, and then two, it's just like squeezing me. And then if you wear it for a really long time, the moisture really locks in and you can get a rash, like irritation to the skin. I've experienced that and like, <sighs> She'd be itchy sometimes. Oh, bruising. Sometimes you can experience bruising. You can. Why? Because you're squeezing your torso. Obviously, you're gonna get a bruise on your like side. Okay, it's me again. Ah, uh, all right. Let me just say this as well. Don't rely on just the waist trainer that your waist is gonna go like that, okay? It takes two to tango. You need to diet. You need to do cardio. You need to eat right. You can't be eating like trash and then wearing a waist trainer and expecting like you're going to wake up with a snatch choice. That's not how it works. It takes two to tango. You need to do one thing to affect the other thing. Cause and effect. Okay, so let's talk about my routine with the waist trainer. 
I would wear it three days on and then three days off. I do not wear it every day for multiple hours. That is because it's very unhealthy for your body because you're squeezing your torso for such a period of time. So I wouldn't recommend wearing it every day. I would not. So three days on, three days off. In the three days that I wear it, I'll wear it around the house, you know, three, four hours, you know, just waist training, you know? And then the three days off, I just don't, I don't touch it. But the only time I wear it every day is only when I'm doing cardio or like weight training. And that's only because weight training for me only takes like an hour and 15, 20 minutes. And then cardio, it's only 15, 20 minutes. That's it. You know, I'm not wearing it for three, four hours where it's going to affect my body and my torso is going to be like, all right, chill, because it's not a natural thing. You're literally forcing your torso together. Therefore, don't wear it every day. Don't. Also, I would sleep in it. I would only sleep in it two times out of the week. Um, I would start wearing it like around 8 p.m. And I would wake up around 8, 9 a.m. and then take it off. And then that's it. I won't wear it. <laughs> anymore that's it unless i go to the gym all right guys that's it for my video i don't have a code for my waist trainer i don't because i'm not sponsored but um, i hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys you know go try it be your own scientist go try something but you know make sure it's safe bye